What is up? This is your LA in a minute. Today I want to talk about the world's largest hot dog chain, LA's own Wiener Schnitzel. So in 1959, John Gallardi was walking down Colorado Boulevard in Pasadena looking for work. As he walked by the successful Taco Tia, he chatted up a woman who happened to be the owner's wife. She promptly put him to work and he realized this woman was the wife of the owner, Glenn Bell. As Taco Tia grew, Bell selected Gallardi to run a central commissary and eventually managed the Long Beach outpost. As Taco Tia grew, Bell needed capital to keep opening new locations, so the tables turned and he asked Gallardi for loan after loan. When Bell couldn't pay back the loan, he offered the Long Beach location and a lease to a piece of land in Wilmington off of PCH to Gallardi for only $6,000. The lease came with a stipulation that Gallardi could sell anything except Mexican food. He knew McDonald's had hamburgers, Colonel Sanders had the market on chicken, and tacos were Bell's domain. The only popular food left? Hot dogs. So hot dogs were cheap, easy, didn't require utensils, and could be dressed in countless ways. He knew he needed something to set himself apart from other hot dogs, though, a special sauce. So he actually worked with Glenn Bell to help him create the sauce, which was a chili, from the commissary. He decided to add mustard and sauerkraut to that chili and sell them with soft drinks, and he created the name Der Wiener Schnitzel to sound German, even though the word is actually Austrian. So in 1961, Gallardi opened the first Der Wiener Schnitzel selling hot dogs for 15 cents a piece. This was a year before his old friend Glenn Bell opened his new venture, Taco Bell. So Wiener Schnitzel is known for its unique architecture. These yellow A-frame buildings really pop and the drive through where you drive really right through the building is a memorable experience and something that stands out in customers' minds and makes prospective customers say, what is that? I wanna try those dogs. So the drive through and the buildings were both implemented by their third location in Compton in 1962, and there was a reason for both. Number one, the A-frame stood out, just like the McDonald's Golden Arches does. Number two, yellow for mustard, the building, red for ketchup, the roof. And the reason for the split drive through turns out that teenagers were loitering in the parking lots after ordering their hot dogs and sodas and driving away other customers. So keeping them in their car and unable to get out during the drive through was the reason for splitting through the buildings. In 1973, Gallardi noticed his Fresno franchise sales were off the charts. The reason being, they offered a buy a Coke, keep the glass campaign, and customers wanted the entire set, so they kept on going and buying hot dogs. It was so successful, the company sold 15 million Cokes, and the fast food giveaway was born. This is the original mascot, Der Wiener Dog. Der Wiener Dog was replaced in 1998 by the delicious one. When Gallardi passed away, his wife took over the 358 locations and made sure the initial one in Wilmington was named a historic landmark. Remember Der Wiener Schnitzel, started in L.A.